Jenny, come in. Greetings and welcome to Ask the Mizzou Playboy with the glasses. How do you feel about Doug Walker being the nostalgia critic for 10 years? That's a very good question. And the answer is, I'm happy for him. Because he got to do what he absolutely loved most for a decade. A decade! Can you imagine doing something for that freaking long? I don't know if I can fucking do it. Well, maybe. You never know. But I applaud him for doing what he's passionate about and getting all those views. So where the hell is my freaking respect, goddammit? But in all seriousness, Doug Walker deserves his high praise and glory. Even though he likes to fucking ignore my request to be on his channel. I congratulate him for his 10 years of excellence. Here's the 10 more. Rick Guacamole. Yes. What is your favorite Nostalgia Critic review? You know, there's a lot of good ones that he's done. It's hard to pick one particular one. Oh. Uh, give me the can of hat. Just because I love the can of hat. Hee hee. But wait a minute. He ripped on the can of hat. <gasps> he did? Well, then I'm going to go with Batman and Robin. That is by far his classic one. Especially with the back credit card. With guacamole. Actually, without guacamole. A back credit card. Do you think you can last for 10 years? Uh, maybe, if you can ask me, like, questions that are, like, new. Although it's tough to do a weekly thing and come up with new questions and continue doing this for that long of a time. So, maybe. But you have to ask me questions and I can formulate answers for you. So please feel free to post in the comment section. And do so on Twitter, too. Because I want to do it for as long as I can. So that my loyal fan base can be very happy and satisfied. Yeah. But yes, if I had the option, maybe. Hell, I could last 10 years because I can review just about anything. You, you're running out of questions. What did I say about using your big mouth, big mouth? Whatever happened to Commander Loser? Oh, thanks for reminding me. Commander Loser. Oh, God damn it. See what happens when you have a big mouth? Hee <laughs> hee. What do you make of Doug Walker's new hairdo? Why the hell is he... Copping off a bread or whatever the hell the cinema snob's name is. Seriously, is every legend gonna go bald after being on their program for like that long? Seriously, I hope he grows it back. It's much better on him. Can you imagine me without hair? It would be a nightmare. You need me to have my hair because the hair makes me look suave and sophisticated. Without it, I'm just about as ugly as Willie. Although it is rather true. Why would you admit that? Yeah, whatever. So yeah, Doug Walker, please grow your hair back as soon as you possibly can. I thank you for that. Next question. Can the twins continue their feel-good story in the second half? Well, we'll see. It is delightful to see that they're actually in the playoff run at this stage of the season. But they got a brutal start to the second half. Houston, you will kick the twins' ass. Maybe. And if not, the Prox Bombers might finish the job. And that will be the end of the twins. Although they won't finish in the basement. That'll be promising, eh? Wait, you don't have faith in the twins? You like the twins, goddammit! How could you not believe in them? Because unlike you, I'm a realistic twins fan. And realistically, I think we're doing better than last year. See what I did there? Oh, you are just full of crap, Playboy. Okay, time for you to zip your big mouth. Would you excuse me for a moment? All right. Since apparently my accents can't seem to work, time for an alternative method. <laughs> ah, duck tape. Because remember, if the woman don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Wick guacamole. Thank you, Red Green. Who do you think will win the World Series? 
Yes, no, we have a problem. Because the Dodgers are going to win it. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why the hell would the Dodgers win the World Series? I'll tell you why. It's because they got Clayton Kershaw. And he's finally going to bury the demons. The demons of postseason's past. Plus, the Nationals are a bunch of choke artists, and they're going to win the division going away. Which means they'll be humiliating themselves again in the playoffs. And I don't really see any other real threat in the National League. In the American League, I see Houston and Boston as maybe Houston... I see Cleveland and Boston as Houston's possible Big Ten threat. But no one's going to stop the Astros! Except the Dodgers, because Clayton Kershaw will finally get his weird series trophy. And then we can shut up about the Dodgers like we had to shut up about the Cubs. God bless America. Yeah, right. Ugh. It's all because of a certain president, whom I will not mention, although you probably have heard him plenty of times, since he makes the news every goddamn fucking day. But let's move on to the Dodgers, who will win the World Series and absolutely kick some fucking ass with Clayton Kershaw. Anybody got a problem with that? Um, I think that the Oakland Athletics are gonna win it in my mouth. Are you fucking stupid, Willie? Do you realize they're in the basement in their own goddamn division, which they're not even gonna win? They're an idiot, Willie. It will be the Dodgers. Yeah. What do you think of the seagull attacks? I'll tell you what I think of the seagull attacks. It's a bunch of goddamn... Asshole! You! Goddamn! Singles! Why the hell would you attack us like that? What have we f done to you, you asshole? You son of a. What the? Why the hell am I getting censored? I didn't even say a swear word that time! Who's messing with this goddamn thing? Could you excuse me for a moment? this thing. Yuck! There shall be no censoring in my goddamn show. God fucking damn it. So yeah, the seagulls need to fucking go away. Or else I'm gonna hunt them down myself so that everybody can be fucking happy and not have to deal with those goddamn seagulls again. Because they're ruining everything in this country. Why do they attack innocent people? It's not like we're gonna attack your stupid little nest or something. I mean, what the hell is wrong with those seagulls? Are they mindless? Of course they are, because they're birds, and birds are mindless. What a load of crap. So I think the seagulls need to go. In fact, I'm gonna put a bounty on any seagull that dares to attack a freaking innocent human being. Anyone who can hunt down the seagulls will be paid handsomely. By being my servant forever. That way I win. Not only do I get rid of the seagulls, but I get a free servant in advance. To, you know, ask me questions. Because, quite frankly, you want us to hear someone besides the narrator. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Just get rid of those goddamn seagulls. Please. With guacamole. Yes. Is Michael Keaton the new Mark Hamill? Oh, you mean like he's... Originally known as a superhero, but now he's also known as a villain, then yes. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably getting this because Michael King kicked ass as the vulture because of the high ratings that Spider-Man Homecoming got in its debut weekend. Well, it's true, because Michael King is freaking awesome. Have you seen the Commander Xander's Michael King man? We reviewed every Michael King movie that you could possibly think of. Well, not every single one of them, but it's good ones. Which includes his Batman ones, because by golly, is Michael Keaton a god. Along with Daniel Day-Lewis, whom he also did a month of. And by the way, those dudes are going nowhere. Although I heard Lindsay Lohan's doing pretty decent. But Michael Keaton kicks fucking ass. He can be a hero and a villain. And nobody can argue with that. Wait, guacamole. Yes. 
Since Channel Awesome has had Nostalgia Critic for 10 years, do you think it's time for them to replace that guy with the glasses with you? Yes! Seeing as I'm closing in on 100, hell, I think I'm like one episode, two maybe. Well, you get the point. I'm closing in on 90, which means I'm that much closer to 100. And yet I still don't get the pay on our channel! Come on! You need another question answering guy! Without that, your channel's not gonna go right over the top of YouTube or Daily Motion or any other mobile website that you can think of. So please let me be on your channel. Let me be on your channel. Or else I'm gonna have to do the following. Let me channel be on channel be on channel! How has Batman remained relevant for all these years? It's because he's a great crime fighter that everybody can look up to because he's human! He's not immortal! He has super unique skills that makes him just as good as all the other superheroes. You might know why? It's because I'm Batman! See? Now you're now you got the proof. This is Damn is you Playboy with the glasses saying, there's no such thing as a dumb question. Because I'm Birdman! Until you ask it, you dumbass! Because I'm Birdman!